If Boom wins, B Cup wins, we just heard. Okay. That's fair. This yeah. is your chance. Man, well, wait, no, but if Boom wins, then we have, we have a game three. And then that we can right. redeem Yeah, ourselves. but I'm going to get that right anyway. No. So oh. you guys know. That's a lot of confidence. Oh. No, if there's a game three, I'm going to let the casters choose first because they're both leading. Oh. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then okay. I'll go and against then them. We decide. Why don't we do that more often, yeah, actually? Yeah, we, we should. We because should. Because the casters always us. have the easy way. You know, they have like two more minutes to think about the draft. And they're, they're like, yeah, Black is talking excuses. out of his ass again. Do you want one? Yeah. Blah, 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 You want the game? I want to see game like number one. Like, that's what I want to see. I want to see your guys' You guys break down the whole tradition. I want to see game number two. Let's go to the game. Have fun. All right, send it our way. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. We don't have any excuses here. We're not going to make any excuses, and we're going to get right into game number two. And they break down the whole draft. You know, they have all that time looking at it. Just got to be uh, on the ball more. Stun comes out. Arrow, Arrow to follow it up. And it looks like this might be first blood. Oh, just surviving at no. BC. Oh. oh, no. This is what happens when uh, you kind of want to be polite. You do not want to kill steel. Doom has a ton of armor. Like, Doom's armor is insanely high. First, he had zero. Then he had one. And then he had the three extra added in the previous patch. And now with the Ring of Protection plus two armor from the tower, like, he's super tanky. So you need to put in those right clicks. Literally unkillable. Arrow. Ah. Burrow Strike will not connect. Not too close to it. Skem will be playing uh, offlane sinking this time around. John will, will play Enchantress. Marana position four. A lot of stats. Five tangos. Eight one. And uh, yeah, circle it. This is like, you know, five stats. This is like having half the ultimate orb at the start, which is not bad. Always nice. What is half an ultimate orb? The okay orb? If it's not as ultimate. Yeah, it's like, okay, not great, not terrible orb. Kodo up against Yopage over mid. Take a look at these lanes as we try screen it up. You shall not. Three screens, two eyes, and here we are looking at FBZ, taking a lot of harassment in that bottom lane. And it's the matchup of Yopage and Makoto, Beastmaster, Puck again here for Yopage. Do you have faith with Yopage again? Or? Yeah, he should do much better than he did against the Temporal Assassin. You know, Beastmaster is annoying, but there isn't that, you know, he hits level five, and then you feel like you can't burn through those refraction charges. This time around, Beastmaster will get, uh, yes. you know, Arrow a bit hits. more pressure. Kes Q surviving Kes with a fairy fire, but one more shot from Play Hard will get first blood. Uh, oh, they also lost the Courier. Like, Couriers are worth so much gold. Like, the one at the start, 25 gold, is not that much, but it's some extra times five. It's uh, actually quite a lot, and it just keeps on giving. Beastmaster nice. 6 CS, Yopage has 9. Like, their heroes can't dispel and don't build into, like, dispel items to remove the Valdax stack. We've seen in the first and the bottom lane, I'll just FBZ shut up. getting chased, right clicks coming in, and Natsumi with a big smash down on FBZ. Jonwell will end up dead as a trade. It's a good trade. Like, he dies on Enchantress, can bring healing salve for Natsumi at the bottom, can bring the items, so Natsumi will get some uh, extra solo XP from the bottom lane, meanwhile, so it's all good. He could potentially also TP mid, maybe refill the bottle. Oh, Mikoto, like, he, he's going. Like, he's going to try to go, but there is a Water Rune, Fairy Fire. Just says it's enough. Also has a point in phase shift, like usually we see Pugs. Being a bit more aggressive, putting a point in Vanning Rift, but right. uh, when you're playing against the Beastmaster, you just want to have that face shift to be able to dodge the axes. And just there like we that. go. Very smart. Avoiding the axes, making sure that they don't land. Beastmaster buying a salve, so. Needs a little bit of that HP. Yopaj going over. He'll take the water rune. That fresh river water coming in. Well, Wayne Rift, Makoto. Has one more sip, and of course, like I said, he does have that salve coming out, but, you know, is that setback? How many times is he going to buy a salve? How much uh, gold is going to be used here on regen for Makoto? That might hold him back. And Skem. He's doing pretty all right here, 13 and 4, especially compared to Dreamacell, who's only 9 and 3. 
Morphling doesn't put much pressure at the early stages. Like, CM is a good laner. Uh, no points in Frostbite at the moment. And uh, they're playing the top lane really well for OB Neon. They push out the lane, they pull it to this side. Slow is going to be enough here to keep the Enchantress alive. Going 1-2 so far. Nothing in the nature's attendance we've seen. Uh, with Skim, at least in the off lane on that Enchantress, I believe went like... Uh, 214 or 211, sorry, into the nature's attendance. Had that heal, but scam? damage on a scam. And they will get this kill. They've got the sentry down, and they had more than enough damage to take him out. It's a big kill there up top for Boom. And Marana was trying to secure the rune. She already has Urn of Shadows, no charges yet. Like, they have a lot of kill potential on the top. Crystal Maiden steps up. One step too far away, and the uh, Burrow Strike into Arrow Combination should be her death. I need to be careful, as this Crystal Maiden can be very quickly dispatched, like you said. Going uh, into that Radiance for Natsumi. So, early, early game for, uh, for Neon is going to hopefully their game plan be to protect this Wraith King, as Natsumi does end up dead bottom. They have to oh, protect so him, but they let him protection. Drop. They need to protect him better. Ooh, Axes don't land. That salve's actually going to get him up quite far. And uh, Makoto, had he landed those axes, it would have been stopping Yopaj from getting that regen out and maybe feeling a little bit more uncomfortable in that lane. 30 and 5. I see mid Beastmasters, beast like, not even getting a point in the Hawk or boar. I like one point where you can send the boar to another side and just potentially kill the rune from the enemy mid laner. I think that's a lot of value. Because it's a lot of mana. Spamming the axes, using right. the boar, the hawk, you have a soul ring, you have a bottle, you have a CM aura, but you're still going to be low on mana. And you were right now only level one. So obviously as the time goes by, the aura will feel better and better. We'll see how that plays out in terms of what Beastmaster's gonna grab here. Should be really early into the Ags, then you'll have those Axes maxed out. Morphling has Roche attempts. two really good targets in this game. Once he decides to pick up the Aghanim Scepter, either it's a Beastmaster, either it's a Earthshaker. We'll see what he decides to go for. Earthshaker, not the hero that we usually see, like this hero. I would compare him to Tiny, but even a worse Tiny, in my opinion. Where, like, Tiny can do much more early on. Like, his rotations are a bit stronger, I would say. Where, for Earthshaker, you pretty much have, like, one ability that's Fisher. And once you hit that level 6, it's hard to find a space for Earthshaker to also farm his Blink Dagger. Play hard. Trying to make a rotation with John Well. Ward goes down, but Dyer saw that. They've got vision. They can see all that Obi Neon are trying to get done here. And there's the sentry. Arrow comes in, does connect. And we'll get the deny on that ward. That feels pretty bad. Looked like he might have avoided that arrow, but it kind of does that weird thing when it goes up cliffs and ends up connecting. That's just some Dota stuff. So it doesn't get the D-War, but it does take away the vision. Even though it's denied, you get rid of that vision. You get rid of those eyes up there, potentially in the triangle. We'll see, you know, if that deters maybe Neon from coming over more and going for these rotations, trying to take out the Beastmaster, who is already level 7. You know, both these mids, 7, ready to go. Dream Coil, Primal Roar, both available. I wouldn't be surprised to see them both rotate off the lane sometime soon. If the bottom lane, like, pushes in... From Boom, they could make a rotation. They even make a rotation with Marana. Their top lane sinking. Not that easy to take down. He's getting closer to level 6 as well. Like, Puck is one of the heroes like that's very similar to Queen of Pain, to Spirits. If you decide to dive a tower, he will punish you. That can certainly get punished if you're not too careful. Even at three, and so far leading the net worth is Natsumi. And this is something we saw from Natsumi in game number one. Comfortable farming, getting towards the top of the net worth. His Medusa kind of went off, and I think, boom, they really need to react better to what Natsumi's getting off the map. 
They can't just continue to let him farm up bottom. Axe he's having a good time, him. even though with that one death, he still has uh, two kills on the board. Very interesting build by both of these heroes on the bottom lane. Not a single point in reincarnation, not even a saving point. Same goes for Doom. Like right now, he's saving it, but didn't get a point uh, on level six in his ulti. Tomorrow gets caught. Fissure puts him between a rock and a hard place as Makoto gets credit for that one. He's still holding the Primal Roar. You've got the Dream Coil available for Yopaj, and he's holding onto a Haste Rune. So at any moment, Yopaj could be ready to rotate somewhere. And you could see maybe even a, a push on a tower after getting a kill. Rotating Dream Coil, get one or two. Especially with Natsumi bottom, maybe take out the bottom tier one. Yopash popping that haste. Heading towards top. They've got vision of this with the war, but still gets hit with the dream coil. But go after Kez Q. Yopash doesn't have the damage to get the kill, so he uses this dream coil. Doesn't get anything out of it. He was afraid of Beastmaster getting the roar. If he commits, could potentially be a turnaround kill, and it's really not worth it. This should also reveal the ward. They might think it's on the high ground, so if they place it a bit more to the east, might not be able to find it. We'll see. Oh, yeah, both mind. teams having vision in a similar area over there. Tide almost level six. So he'll have that Echo Slam up soon. Freezing field for the Crystal Maiden. For Kezcute as he gets close to six. So experience looking pretty even across the board. I would say the only one excelling further than their lane uh, lane difference is uh, uh -oh. Scan over well. the Doom. Trying to the award, but yeah, gets that's again. a risky move. Fissure comes through. Kezq gets the kill on a Jean well and they've got themselves a 1k lead. Both carries not really getting touched at all this game. Dream still taking some damage while he sits in the sandstorm. And we still have much not more harassment. seen Doom being used. Uh, no epicenter yet. He just got a point in it. He's working towards the Blink Dagger. Was trying to get Mana Boots, but he can uh, pick up a Bounty Rune, buy a Blink Dagger, and then they try to go for a kill. Yeah. Someone needs to buy a Smoke, and then they can get a kill. Like, you would want to kill Beastmaster or try to surprise Morphling with it. A good vision coming out from Boom on the top. Like, this, this ward is very sneaky around the Tier 1 tower where it provides a lot of vision. Because there's no cliff. This is where the cliff was before. It doesn't provide as much vision. But it's also far away from the new cliff. So I don't think that's going to get devoted. Yeah, I don't know if they expect people to ward there as much. Dream Coil comes out onto two. Kez, Q, and Makoto. Again, this is a Dream Coil, though, that doesn't net them anything. Arrow, Kez, Q, in deep, de-warding. That's an aggressive posture. Yeah, position fives in this game are just, uh, you know, de-warding for their lives. Thinking they have a secondary life. That they have Aegis going in. Aggressive de-warding. Rave King going for the Radiance. Pretty standard stuff. Didn't yeah. even finish the Bracer, just the casual gloves. This time around does not want to upgrade it to Hand of Midas. The, this is their time. They need to strike. They need to find something big. They're working without Dream Coil for 40 seconds. They do use the Moonlight Shadow trying to get something done. Makoto, he smoked up. Does have the Primal Roar available. Very close to this Axe. They don't make a move yet, so both teams very hesitant to start this game off, especially coming out of game one when it was a back and forth firefight. Epi, a little bit slow. Epi center, Burrow strike coming up short. Makoto has the axes, the arrow hits, the Primal Roar is in. They've got the Star Storm right on top of Makoto. They'll get that kill. They'll take out one. The silence on a two. This might stop them from getting a kill here onto the Sand King. Oh, Echo Slam! Deleted. <laughs> Just That's the best execution from Obi Neon. Uh, level 3 Burrow Strike, well, sometimes it's much shorter than you think it is. Uh, they didn't manage to bring it down bottom lane. They We're won't get to sell. probably ulti off to Break King. Dream Coil, though, so turn around. Dream of Cell, he's getting low. He needs to be careful. Adaptive Strike with the waning rip. The silence is there. Yopaj takes out Dream of Cell. That's all for the reincarnation to be on cooldown. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, 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 this deserves a tip. The for thoughts sure. exactly. Like, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like, it, surprised he didn't get the multiple tips out of this one. You know, as a carrier rotating, trying to gank Raid King, uh, who has 
a point in ulti. I, I can understand what they're trying to do, you know. Kill him once, Doom and Crystal Maiden were trying to connect, but a bit too late. Also, rotation from Puck uh, just says enough. FBZ still has a Doom, but won't be able to pop it off. Silence Sanky. the losery orb, and now oh, they'll even get a plus one on Kez Cued. FBZ trying to Doom? survive, throws oh, out a stun, blink. blinks away. Oh, FBZ, he's gone. Uh, they were greedy. They, they tried to go for both kills. Sanking just ignoring Doom. He told Yopaj, I'm going to take care of it. Uh, you know, I'm going to take care of Crystal Maiden. You finish off the Doom. But Doom is tanky. You know, sitting at uh, 15, so almost 1600 HP. Has uh, a lot of armor on top of that. Burrow and strike. has a Blink Dagger, so he can get out of the trouble. Arrow misses. Okay. Not hitting a stun target. When you have Earthshaker in the team, like, he consumes a lot of mana as a position for hero. You also want to give him a lane for one, two minutes to be able to farm up a Blink Dagger. He's not getting any mana boots, just simple Tranquils, Magic Stick. Like, you have Crystal Maiden Aura, you have a Trusty Shovel. Shovel gives Mangoes instead of uh, TPs, so that's better for some position fours. Gets a bounty this time, though. That feels good. Especially for the Beastmaster that's very close to this Ax. Throwing those Axes. Oh, can't wait until Beastmaster gets that Aghanim Scepter. There it is. Game is gonna become fun. Yeah, look at this fun. So like, This is 10 out of 10. Peak Dota performance. Everybody watches the draft and they go, Oh my god, Morphling, Earthshaker combo. But what about... Morphling Beastmaster combo with Axe. Yeah, the worst thing about it is Axe is actually stack from Beastmaster and Morphling. Okay. More Axes than an Axe can Axe for. You should have seen the look that I just got. <laughs> No, I was like, Peacock, <laughs> you can do better than this. You know, I've heard you. you, you it can be Dream better. Coil, cruising field. Three heroes all on the side of Boom. And Skim will fall. But Hide FBZ and Kezku not too lucky. They don't need anyone else. They, they have Beastmaster. He can take this fight. One versus three. A good initiation once again by Puck. He's controlling Doom every single time. He's just causing issues. We did not see a single Doom being used. Yeah, he has held that for a while. Yeah, just time. stacking it for the late game. Imagine, you know, in the fight 30 minutes in, he popped three Dooms. Top like, what up, guys? <laughs> it's your boy, Doom. Back with oh, he's just Doom. being controlled. I can understand why he's going for the BKB as the second item, so he can get a better initiation. They have no abilities that Radiant's go through magic immunity, so that's attack. also going to help quite a lot. Can move freely. Radiant's Dyer's done on Raid top King. Top he's staying 2,000 gold ahead of Morphling. Yeah, Morphling is... Been farming pretty slow. Dream Cell. I don't know. He does just does not feel comfortable at the moment. He's finished off the Sanj, so he'll have S and Y, but now he wants to go for the Ags. The question is, does he get the time to get that Ags? Burrow Strike onto two Beastmaster as well as the Earthshaker caught. Look at a quick kill onto High, but they have the stun on the play hard, looking to clean up the Mirana. They just don't have use the that doom. On the run, he's turns trying. around. He's Can he get his a best. Doom out? No, he can't. MBZ, he dies too. Dream Coil comes down onto both Makoto as well as Kez Cute. And they're both gone. Four heroes dead on Boom. They cannot get anything Boom off. Boom is getting outplayed so hard. Like the double Burrow Strike from Skem there, Yopaj. They're, they're just toying with them at this point. It should not be the case. You know, 17 minutes in, you did not use a single Doom. Something is off. Like, it's just incorrect. Like, you yeah. should find the opportunity to use it. Doom usage is zero. It's his namesake, and he's not even allowed to do it. He's closing in on the BKB, but it's still pretty far away. And then Morphling, of course, wants this Axe. Like, they just have to try and buy time. We've seen games like this, though, where yeah, a like lot it, of it relies on the Axe. To go Ags. back to Season 1, you know, some TNC. of the Urge TNC performance with the Earthshaker and the Morphling Shard combination. Not too it's me. just super... It was super broken. Uh -oh. Burrow Strike. Makoto. Stunned up again, Centaur with the stun, Wraith Fire again. Blast, Stonelock, oh, Echo Slam, Fissure comes through, they might trade, but they might not! Oh no! Doom. 
Skip Finally survives used. Makoto high. They're both dead on the side of Boom. They get the kill on the Zhenwei. Well. They have this Spirit Vessel onto the Doom. They get the kill on the Keskyu. Wait for him over. I'm not sure the Motorfuck is going to do enough here to really salvage what's going on because he's been hit with the Dream Coil. Dream of Cell trying to survive. Arrow. The Wraith Fire Blast comes in. The arrow's going to land. So they are starting to bring down Dream of Cell, who will eventually fall. They going to tip him. Is there. Like, they going to tip him after this. He's the one who's going in back once again. Doom using uh, Doom on Raid King after he respawns. That was a decent Echo Slam, you know, connecting on two. But still, they don't have the tools to deal with everything. Puck going for pretty much the same item build as he did in the previous game. Witchblade playing Dagger now going into Lincoln Sphere. We can see that like they have so many stuns. Like Sanking instantly deleted. A lot of uh, Echo damage coming out from those uh, Skelly Bros. Well, Sanking, he blinks away. I, oh my god. I. I and then he was able to reset. Yeah, and, and then, then from there, like, he's got the Burrow Strike that kills the Doom. He does eventually die. Morphling comes in, but that's greedy. Like, yeah, you want to get a kill. You want to get something out of uh, this. He thought, you know, maybe I will be able to get out. You can see the arrow almost misses because of the status resistance. And uh, sometimes, you know, you're just playing by the feeling, but that status resistance kicks in. And uh, it almost didn't connect. But uh, so far, so good from Neon. Like, they could potentially also go inside the pit after after they win the next fight. Uh, Raid King getting closer to his uh, level 18. Uh, still ulti on cooldown for 20. This is not looking good for Boom. Obviously, they still have options in making this all work out. We'll see if they can make it work. Natsumi with the double damage, the Hawk We'll spot them going into the Roche pit. Uh, through Roche, getting bullied. There's a big difference between position fives, where one five has full glimmer cape, a medallion deals ton of damage. On the other side, you have Crystal Maiden, who has just a casual cloak at this point. Sitting in a backpack. Well, Natsumi needs to get out. One hero shows up. Also known as Beastmaster, you need to stop taking the Roche. Coil on him instantly. He yeah, is the they're most going after damage. Makoto. They've got the BKB as well as the Doom that comes out Ball on the Yopaz. That might do something here for Boom, but they're going to get the kill on Makoto as well as Kizku. The Echo Sun is going to be dropped down. They get the kill on the Yopaz. They're going to buy back on Kizku immediately. And Burrow Strike comes through. They get the first life out of the hands of the Raid King. Playhard trying to run. Dream Cell starting to do a lot of damage. Kizku comes in looking for the slow. The Fissure on a three. There's the blink game with the totem. They're turning it around. Freezing field. John well gone. Natsumi might drop as well. He is out of here. Full team white for Boom. Here comes the Boom. And they will go right in a Roche. Yeah, this is the fight that they needed. Uh, Dream of Cell uh, turns into Sanking. You know, lands a three man Burrow Strike into Sandstorm. And this should be the Aegis for them. Buyback coming out from Skem. Buyback coming out from Chaos Cute. He's not even there. Like, maybe the play there would be potentially I go in, try to steal the Roche. And he has a full Aghanim Scepter after That's this one. That's massive. Let's see it again. They go after Makoto. Silence, Dream Coil, Natsumi, right clicks, focus the intention onto the Beastmaster. FBZ finally has this BKB. Echo Slam is pretty massive. And yeah, look at that three-man burrow strike from Dream of Cell, who morphed into the Sand King. Just this whole thing. I have three men stunned there. Three men stunned with the fissure. It's too much. And now he's got the axe. This is where things get sketchy because they, they just lost like six. They lost their whole gold. lead. Exactly. That was pretty much the whole lead. And they can kite them. You know, uh, Brave King easily kited by the heroes that they have. Uh, Morphling. I, I want to see what the, his target is going to be. Like, he can also turn Radiant into Sanking, has yep. this gigantic burrow strike once Radiant again. There's so many good attack. options. Like, if you want to be a Beastmaster, if you want to be Earthshaker, at least you're not going to be bored in this game. Like, you can swap things around, you can play different heroes. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Just like, there's so many possible best scenarios here for Morphling to turn into. He's got the Dyer's extra morph duration. This feels really good right now for the morphling. That was such a, a gold injection, and he will turn into the Earthshaker. Dotem is not maxed out yet. It's level 3 at the moment. 
scepter range from 1100 to 950, but also provides 40% cleave. I would not be surprised if that cleave actually works on his attack. They've got Yopaj. Fissure, Fissure. Lincoln's popped. Yopaj popped. <laughs> we went the full circle. You know, sometimes, somehow we always managed to have this Morphling plus Earthshaker combo <laughs> in the game. No matter what happens, no matter how much you nerf it, it's still going to be viable. It's where things get stupid, honestly. Fissure, cross the Fissure, just stun lock, yeah, totem. Like timeless Relic, more Fissures, lower than cooldown with the Spell Prism. <laughs> Octarine core, like it was super popular. Earthshaker shard in the previous patches, like that was just some, like he he already has it as well. So it's not as good as it was before. Before you could difference. stun lock people pretty much permanently. He is gonna get E on disc as the next time. Just wants to be able to get his spells off. Get some gold from that centaur. And just jumping around, Dream of Cell. He's been dreaming of this moment. Burrow Strike comes in, arrow misses. Doom's gonna be used here onto the Wraith King. They get the Cone of Makoto with the BKBB pop by FBZ. They've got the Fissure coming through from Dream of Cell and will use that totem right on top of Scam. They've got the follow up Fissure, but the Burrow Strike away. That Let's was see, not boom. the best Doom I've seen. This no. is definitely not the greatest Doom in the history of Dota. Oh, Kess cute. Not looking so cute at the moment, but avoids the arrow. And gets the we'll Cape off, goes Let's into see. the trees, and he's gone. No reveal. No one's uh, having any dust. Chris Maiden has dust. <laughs> but well, they can't use that. They dust. had one sentry on Enchantress. Like, once you see the Glimmer Cape, you also need to start buying the dust on the cores. Like, just add one on Puck if things... Uh, you know, if your bottle is empty, you swap in the dust, uh, raking at the moment, holding uh, a Quelling Blade. Like, you just don't get value out of this item anymore. Refire Blast, Arrow this time connects. Because Q ends up dead. Blink with the War Stomp onto this Wraith oh, King. Oh, Strike at the center, that's massive. Echo Slam Even is bigger. absolutely huge. They've popped the Aegis. It's still not enough damage, though, even with the Echoes. Are the arrows timed perfectly? Burrow Strike, see you later. Dream of Cell, four gone on Boom. Wow, man, that Burrow oh. Strike, the Epi, like he caught him mid air. Mid air. Yeah, that, that was beautiful. Then the Echo Slam comes, which was also really nice, but no real follow up. And they've got Makoto. Man, this game's wild. Coming in with the Burrow Strike as he's up in the air, giving the finger wag. Not today. Oh, yeah, yeah. I want to see that one again, production. It was beautiful. Also, very good Echo Slam, but then he respawns. Perfectly timed arrow by play hard. On the respawn, yeah. That was beautiful. Not looking as strong. The Axe combo at that moment. But, of course, things had to get played perfectly. And, well, Scam delivered. Fisher goes out. Dyer's Tier 3 got. So, 6k. Down to nothing. Back to 6k. Here's your replay. Thank you very much. Let's see that one again. And they got Natsumi's first life out. Oh, the Echo on the 3. But just... Still not enough. Primal Roar. That gets thrown on the Wraith King. Natsumi still, though. They've got more than enough control to take up these heroes and the tip on the Dream Cell. And now they're back to 6k once again. Yeah, up and down and back up again. Maybe Earthshaker, morphing into the Earthshaker is not the answer. Have we seen him morph Beastmaster yet? No. Double axes? Gotcha. He's just prioritizing either a Sanking or Earthshaker. Earthshaker deals like so much damage with the totem. Dream Coil down. Believe that missed. Like also if you want to go back for Shard on Morphling, could potentially work. We'll see.
I like the build on Puck. Puck has a casual Sanj, wants to turn that into Kaya and Sanj. Just extra status resistance against the Shaker, against all of these stuns could make a difference. Like, you could potentially use a face shift after Earth Shaker goes in and just tries to stun lock you. You might be able to pop the face shift and just get out. Mm -hmm. A bit of a status resistance could make the difference. Also, Breaking has his status resistance, S and Y, 25%. He's starting to swing hard and be very hard to kill. Five man smoke. They're going to make a move here. They're going to run right in to Neon. And they know where the Sand King is. They've got the Doom. That's out onto the Sand King. They're going to tote him in. The Wraith King comes forward, but Natsumi taking a lot of damage. He might be out of position as the rest of OB Neon are trying to help him out. They've got the whip, but it's not going to be in time. They're going to wait for him forward look for the totem, but it's not going to land with the BKB being popped here by Dream Cell, as well as FBZ. Natsumi pops his own, looks over at Makoto with the BKB taunting from Makoto. It's on point. Fisher comes in from Dream Cell. That's blocking Natsumi away from his team as the Fisher comes through. They've also got the totem. The Echo Slam comes in, and now John Well as well as Play Harder God. Freezing Field is down. They've got the Dream Cool on the Doom, but it's not going to do anything. The Burrow Strike lands onto the Earth Shaker. High trying to survive with the Opaj putting out the damage, but they get the kill on an Atsumi. They'll look over on the high ground, on the cliff. Can they get anything more from this? Hide is gone, but in on the cliff is Makoto. John Well dies to Dream a Cell. He's got an rampage. Ultra Kill. Can find he get the him. Rampage? Can they find Scam? Nah, that was such Doesn't a look like good fight. The way this fight started, Mirana shoots the arrow and it connects on the either Hawk or a Boar while they were smoke. So they're like, yeah, something's going on. Unfortunately for Sank, like he didn't have that immediate buyback because it was on cooldown for like five seconds. Buys back straight after breaking already deleted once. So he like, there's so much kite potential coming out. To, from their heroes, the slow, from the boar, anything from Crystal Maiden Aura, the Fishers. It's just gonna be rough. Like, we've seen pretty much the perfect execution from Neon in the previous fight. If they don't get that perfect execution, it's gonna be very hard. Like, this Morphling plus Earthshaker combination is just so much damage at the moment. Roche also respawn. I think they got a glimpse of that, so they know something is up. Shard is also available. Back again to Boom leading by a thousand at worth. <laughs> it's up and down. <laughs> yeah, look at that grab. Look at that grab. Yeah. Look 29. At yeah, yeah, 20. <laughs> Nickelback song, look at that grab. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Every time I see it makes me laugh. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything to follow that up. Uh, Dream is out in a Roche. See what they can get from this, because this is going to be Roche with Aegis Cheese and Shard. Do you give the Shard over? I guess you give it to Morphling. Arrow? Arrow. Mm, barely. Hits Roche. So they're probably going to have to fight this. They've got Echo Sum available, Primal Roar, as well as the Doom. They need to be careful with BKB. An untouchable. Jump well. Oh, Doom out. That's on to the Marana. Interesting choice. Axis coming in. Yopash comes over with the Dream Coil now. Natsumi with the BKB going after FBZ. FBZ, he's in a lot of trouble as he already uses BKB. That's going to be on cooldown for a minute, so he needs to try and run away with the epicenter coming up from Scam, but it's not on any anybody. FBZ, he ends up dead. He's got buyback. They need Inside to be the careful. Spin, Freezing arrow. field trying to defend. Got everything. They got it all. Kezcute, Glimmer Cape, TP attempt. Illusory Orb on him. Kezcute, the dust is too late. Adapt to strike and the Fissure jail. Like, they they do literally the jail. V for victory. Look, you can't pass. That was a 92 degree angle. They meant like this, a little obtuse. Uh, like, Doom is having issues finding the right target to go on. He's like, yeah, I want to Doom whatever. You know, last time around, he doomed Raid King before killing him once. Now he dooms Marana. Also, Neon, they, they used a bit too much. They used Coil on the Doom, who already used his ulti. They used the Epic on him. Uh, they needed to be more careful about like what's going on inside the pit. Right. Because right now, Morphling has that shard, has uh, Cheese, uh, Aegis. He gave Cheese to someone. He I was on the... Hirsch? 
I believe he picked up everything. There, there was yeah. no one inside. Maybe he just sold it. You know, guys, uh, 500 gold. I'm sorry. I just have to get the money somewhere to farm my to farm my Scotty. And now that he's got this shard, on Morphling makes that fissure. Oh, cheese is in combo. the base. Cheese is in the base. Even stronger. They're just letting it ferment. Oh, makes sense. Aged cheese always better. But this is room temperature. Like you need to find a fridge. You you need to put it in something. Maybe Crystal Maiden can take care of it. Okay. Would would the whole Dota community community be up in arms if they t changed what cheese looked like, like the type of cheese? They just made it like a halloumi or something. It was no longer that pristine triangle in the wax. No longer that prestige cheese. I don't know. It's like a Swiss right now, I think. Yeah, it is. It is a Swiss cheese. I can see the holes. They make it into a gouda. So net worth wise, still about even here. Dream Cell. Buys out on the Scotty. Has the eggs, has the shard, and it looks like Neon might be a little bit scared gotcha. of uh, really going after Boom. They're going to push through bottom. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. We've got Neon up towards top, but I don't know if they want how much they want to give up. They've given up a tier two, nothing more just yet. Dream Cell close to that level 25. Beastmaster also has a shard. You can't control the hawk anymore, but it's a two second stun duration, so you need to be careful about that. It's a one second uh, channel time, but still could make a lot of difference once the BKBs are down. Yeah, the, we've seen some dive bombs be pretty clutch. <laughs> Heaven's Halberd for the Doom. That's going to be nice to have. I like D I like FBZ's build. And we, he knew he needed that early BKB. That's helped him out a little bit here. And then he went into the Shivas, now the Halberd. He had a rough game, you know. Just not having vision, jumping in, uh, getting kited, uh, trying to use the Doom, then you get stunned, then you get arrowed in your face. A rough one for him, but uh, it's a Doom. You can still find the farm on the map uh, with your Devour, the extra gold. He's also holding on to the gem, so they want to see Sanky, they want to see Marana, Glimmer Cape from Enchantress. This is a good pickup. Looks like Natsumi might want to go in. Definitely feeling anxious about doing so. That fissure will keep him in place for a second. So Scam going Aeon Disc, trying to survive here. He's been taken out of some fights early. He's had some big moments, certainly. Because the game has gone on, he's been wiped out pretty fast. And this is the problem with sinking. Like, once you get that Blink Dagger plus one more item, it just feels like this is it. Like, you're not really scaling no matter what fissure. you get. Arrow does Totem. not connect. To avoid it, now the adaptive strike. Natsumi hit up hard, wave for him in. Lotus Orb gets the Wraith Fire Blast out onto Dream Cell. They'll use the Moonlight Shadow to disengage. Arrow will hit on Doom, but uh, there's not going to be any follow up. They need to push out the bottom lane. It's a 35 minute wave with two catapults. Popping in the shots. So they don't have Moonlight Shadow to work with. They now have the Ags on Yopash. Penta Edge Sword picked up for the Dire. See these neutrals start to come in. Telescope, Flicker. Seems like they want to smoke. Everyone's getting around the base. Here we go. Aegis Timer. It's gone. 30 seconds ago. And there is the level 25. So he's got the two waveform charges on Dream Cell. Dream Cell close to finishing off the Reaver. Gonna the satan Satanic. It's a big item. You can dispel Makoto things with it. It's really Blink nice. Back. Into Natsumi. They've got the Dream Coil. They have the control. They Jesus should be able to get available. the kill here on Makoto, but he does have the cheese, so it's not gonna be so easy. 
Axes maybe opening up some pathing, bombing. but Makoto ends up dead, holds the cheese, lets it ferment even longer. He does have buyback, dead for 85, though. He was trying to get out of it. Maybe wild axes, cut down some trees with the spider legs, possibly pop a cheese, someone connects, helps him out. This is also Puck with the quickening charm, getting closer to his level 25. Like, he can still scale with Puck, because he went for the damage, he went for the phase shift attack, illusory old cooldown. Oh, timeless relic. Oh. Oof, that's a big one. That's a big one on Puck, especially with the Aghanim Scepter. Longer duration stun, longer duration coil. Boom still have a chance to get a Timeless Relic themselves. They're gonna go out on the high ground, look for a second tier three. They back off for now. Hatsumi blinks away, comes back in. Fissure, Fissure, now the totems. They're scared to stay up on that high ground, even with it being 4v5. You gotta assume the Beastmaster would buy back if things got a little bit sketchy for them. Yeah, potentially. Like, you are afraid of the buyback, even though he has, like, 25 seconds left on that. So, Puck, I, I was wondering what his item is gonna be, because they need another damage dealer. Like, Sanking doesn't really scale. Raking can get kited. This will come in handy. So... Daedalus, I, I think that's completely fine. You know, just getting some uh, more damage. They're both about to hit that 25. So they're going to have two heroes with 25, whereas, boom, they only have the Morphling at 25 right now. A couple of levels needed for both the Doom and the Beastmaster to get to that point. Makoto. Only level 23 at the moment. Dream Assault turns into the Doom. Interesting. Trying to wonder. What the just wants that sweet gold. Gets, yeah. uh, gets Devour. Sure. I don't think that's going to be the target in the fights, for sure. Like, still, Sanking feels good. At this point, Beastmaster doesn't feel that great anymore. It's just going to be Earthshaker, probably primary target. Could potentially turn into Sanking to have this uh, long initiation. Like, ev even more setup, but uh, still feel like Earthshaker is the best option at the moment. Yeah, you have that 40% cleave from a distance. Always nice. Have that totem, have the control. There it is, Dream Cell now that is that Earthshaker. It's holding on to the Penta Edge Sword, has the 45 damage, the extra attack range for melee. Penta Edge Sword feels pretty much always good to have. I think this item is uh, always used. Always someone will find a value of keeping it. Top lane pushing in. He needs to get rid of those catapults. Tower dropping very low. Just... 107 health. Roche back up in a minute 27, so the game kind of slowing down, looking towards that point of getting that next Aegis Cheese, potentially Refresher Shard or Ag's Blessing. So, definitely tense, and I mean, Roche may not even be next on the menu. It could just be the game, depending on where this fight breaks out. Blink forward with the War Stomp. That's going to stun up John Well, but they've got the Burrow Strike Arrow. as well as the Arrow to follow it up. One. FBC in trouble. The Fissures come through with the Dream Cloak landing on both of them. More as well as the Crystal Maiden. Crystal Maiden snaps it. They're probably going to need a buyback from FBC. Axe is being thrown forward from Makoto. They've got Dream Cell in a bit of a bad position as well as Kez-Q. kez, -Q. kez -Q gone. He's got buyback too. Back onto the high ground. And this should potentially open up Roche, but it's not available for a little bit. Doom didn't buy back. Uh, he lost the gem. Johnwell will pick it up. 30 seconds also, for Roche. Also, like, you praised his itemization. He wants to get Arcane Blink. Like, it's a good one in terms of, like, War Stomp. The, the cast point is good and everything. Lowers the cooldown on the Doom on top of that. But I would still prefer, like, either E on this, because he can still get popped, or, right. like, a Refresher. Like, he had 5,000 gold. Now he has Arcane Blink recipe. Yeah. Not, not, a, not a big fan of that. But maybe he feels, you know, the cast point. I've been struggling to use the Doom. I raise my hands in the air. Can't get it off. So this time around, 
You know, maybe a chat can put their hands in the air oh, for hands Doom. Up. Yeah, hands up. Let me see those hands. Uh, Roche <laughs> will respawn, and I can't see, but should respawn, like, in the next few seconds. Trying to click on it, but the game is paused. Respawns in, in now, potentially. He's crawling out at the moment. He just kind of shows up. Instant transmission. Oh, yeah. Boom, he, he's he's not uh, early. He's not late. He shows up at the time that he will. He's more like a Gandalf, I would say. You know. Always on time. So, yeah, I, I agree with the Aeon disc because we just saw there he gets popped pretty quick. Has it's an not the disc, maybe has a you want to buy. Maybe he thinks, you know, the status systems from Heaven's Halberd will keep me alive, but there is a ton of damage. Rating can still, you know, upgrade a lot of his uh, things. He's sitting at 5,000 gold. Swift Blink also... I want to see Basher. I want to see a Bissell Blade sneaked in somehow. And he can also get the Aghanim Scepter, like the Reincarnation. So you can... People, even if they get a good jump, like they're still going to be able to use their abilities once that Aghanim Scepter is picked up. So right. if Roshan drops Ags, it definitely goes to Raid King. Something we didn't say is Enchantress having this shard, which gives three permanent nature attendance. So it's like Perma Heal. It's a good shard, not the greatest against what Boom has. Like, there's no overtime damage. Everything they have is pretty much... We go in, we burst people. So not too much value from this. But she also has Eon Disc. No Nullifier, no way of dispelling things. Morphling. He he wants a big one. Like, he, he just wants the, the game winner. I see Aghanim's Blessing Recipe and the Divine Rapier. Divine Rapier. So Rose just spawned. It's Aghanim Scepter. Yeah, that'll be big if... I would say Natsumi wants to grab it, but they go out of the Roche pit. How many Yandas do we have? One on Sanking, one on Enchantress. Morana also trying to build one. They're not even going to try and go after this. One on Crystal Maiden very soon. Earthshaker also wants to get... Wow. Although this is taking a while, but they're just not going to be in time. So he's holding on to Aegis Cheese and the Axe Blessing. He'll put that into his inventory, get himself that uh, upgrade on the reincarnation. It's a big boost to gold. One. It's also 70 attack speed. It's also 25% movement speed That's for whatever reason. <laughs> Like, I didn't know that until, like, two months ago. I, I've never realized that it was a change. I'm like, yeah, you know, they just respawn. Never noticed Fissure. they get the speed. Double Fissure. Echo Slam coming through. Is. But Aeon just gets propped. So, Jean well, he's taking a lot of damage. So is the Earth Shaker. They're looking over at Dreamus up with the BKB. But he's got that Satanic off with the Rayquaza coming out on Natsumi. The waveform once, waveform again. That's in a 90 degree angle to try and get out of this one. They're starting to chase. They blink forward on Yopaj. Fusion comes out, but it's not going to line with the patient being used. They're on the run. They've lost just the Earthshaker for now, who has bought back. They didn't use the Echo Slam, though, and they couldn't get anything from it. So, yeah, these Eon Disc, a lot of value. Both Eon Disc procced. Uh, Marana also trying to get one for herself. So they can't burst her. Like, Earthshaker goes in, you break the combo. We've seen how good it is in the previous fight where Sanking doesn't deal damage while having Eon this, but he is at least stunning people with it, and he also is level 25. Uh, th this item, this sorry, this talent is really good. 40% uh, blind and slow. Yeah. It's percentage, so it's, like, really good. Also, like, they have... Nothing like Morphin does not want to build the uh, MKB. New Divine Rapier does not give you True Strike. Also, remember Enchant Totem also doesn't give True Strike anymore. So you you might struggle dealing right click damage while you're inside a Sandstorm. Trauma War gets used with the Fissure coming out. The Andis was proc in the last fight. They'll get the kill there onto Skem. Dead for two, and we'll see if he buys back or if he's forced to buy back. Wraith King saving up the gold, 3,800. Pretty unkillable at the moment. Doesn't have boots. He, he's not... Uh... Ooh, they got the Dream Coil down. 
And all of a sudden, Natsumi comes over. They're trying to do enough damage on a Dream Cell to land the Fissure. They're going to come over with the Totem. The buyback's going to come out from this Sand King. The double wave for him to get some distance. They pop the Lincoln's on the Yopage, but the chase is on. They don't have Dream Coil. They don't have that extra control. They'll look over at Kezku. They've got the Illusory Orb as well as the Good Rayfire Blast coming out onto this Crystal Maiden. Kezku trying to get away, but won't be able to do so. Fissure's still coming through. Burrow Strike. Scam trying to catch up to the Dire side, unable to do so. They have a lot of these abilities to cut down the space between them. Illusory or Burrow Strike, they have these Blink Daggers ready to go. They just could not catch Boom on the exit. They only got the Crystal Maiden. Second bot back in that fight, so that's a pretty big one. Like, Raid King, not sure what he can swap. Like, his move speed is okay if he uses a Swift Blink. It has some extra move speed from S and Y, so at least that's okay. But uh, Morphling, he finished the Raid here. Let's see the damage. Can they get something out of this? this they look over. Available. Scam. He needs to be careful because he did buy back. They've got the Primal Roar. The Aeon Disc is no longer going to be available for him. Scam popped the BKB. They go into the trees. They've got the Illusory. Coil in a second. Dream Coil is up and available. Dream of Cell not going in just yet. And he'll use that Stormcrafter to be up in the air for a moment. But Hyde is dead. Axe is coming through. Arrow doesn't land. They're still looking to chase. They look over as they find themselves at BZ. Who pops the BKB. But the damage coming in from Natsumi might be too much. He snaps the Dream Coil. He's gone. Both these heroes don't have buyback. It's time to go. Like, OB Neon, they need to go in. No buyback on Earthshaker. He's be gone for minute and a half. Uh, same goes for Doom. Like, Doom invested his gold. He does not have enough money to actually do it. It's not, that it, it's not a cooldown. Where can they get this gold? This is a struggle. Boom need to try and defend. Natsumi just feels unkillable. He hasn't even used that Aegis. Well, the play could have potentially be uh, someone... Like, it, it, it's been pinged out. Like, they could have potentially picked up one Bounty Rune. And at this point, he would have enough gold. Yeah. Like, they, they just missed an opportunity. Because someone was near the top, the, the left side of the map. Just trying to... Maybe they didn't do the match, you know. 48. Arrow. BKB. Yeah, that's going to be 416. Dream Cell trying to go in on this. They've got the reincarnation out of the hands of Natsumi. But that's only the reincarnation. So Natsumi. 30 seconds with reincarnation on cooldown. They've got themselves the Dream Coil down as well as the face of damage coming out on Makoto. He's got the BKB pop, but it's not going to be enough. Kesku finally buys back. They're going to go with the epicenter. The burn strike. They look over on Arrow. the CM. Arrow to follow it up. Primal Roar, play hard. He's hit, he's stunned, he's low. Double Aeon just gets popped. They've got the ghouls up into the air on the Dream Cell. Look over Yopash, who's trying to finish off these heroes that are sitting inside the web. They get the kill on a play hard, but they've lost themselves the tier three as well as the melee racks. That was a bit unnecessary. You know, the diving in for a Crystal Maiden, both beyond this gets uh, procced by Adaptive Strikes. They got only one set of barracks. Holding, technically. They're just a melee barracks, that's all. Morphlin, you know, he still has that Divine Rapier. It's a ton of damage. He needs Earthshaker to be alive, though, to see the full potential. And now they've got all five again. Five X available for three of the five heroes on the Radiant side. Only short gold for the Marana, but dead for 60 at the moment. Next Roche, potentially in two minutes. Morphling looking Octarine Core, as well as Ag's Blessing. This has become very tough for Boom. They're down 16k, it's not impossible. No, at this point, uh, I don't think, you know, a lot of this net worth also comes from these Ag's Blessings, Ag's blessings from Roshan, uh, so difference in net worth at the moment doesn't really matter. All they need is one good fight. Uh, Morphling uh, still has room to improve his items. If he buys Aghanim Shark, then you said if he wants to get the Octarine Core, lower the cooldown. Peacemaster also has Okay, now. maybe a bit more damage also wouldn't uh, be that bad. Maybe a bit more attack speed. Like, a, a fight that gets won for Boom here on the other side of the river is, is one that can certainly break the base of Neon. They only have one melee rax down. Yeah, that's literally nothing. Yeah, you can deal with that. That's fine. FBZ, he's getting close to level 25. 
150% cleave or the plus 2.4% infernal blade damage. Oh, no cleave. No cleave needed. It's just the infernal blade damage is uh, too good. I've seen. It's enticing, though. I've seen. Uh, who was it? It was Hector, I believe, when we, he played Carry Doom, that he decided to go for that talent. I believe he was playing against the Phantom Lancer, which, you know, when you can play a Carry Doom, it's fine. Not something that is common, but uh, South American teams uh, love to experiment a bit more than the other regions, I would say, in terms of carries. Hex on the Enchantress. Doom goes for the Infernal Blade damage. Okay. It's just hoping. Radiant or scan. Take us. Scan, connect, Radiant, know exactly where they are. They're wrapping around. Moonlight Shadow. They're in Viz. They don't have the vision on this. They've got the Hex and the Blink Forward as well as the Burst Strike is going to come through onto the Earthshaker. Earthshaker in a lot of trouble to get the kill on a hot. He doesn't have Bobak. He's dead for 80 seconds so with Freezing Field coming down from Kesku, but that's going to be stopped. Looking over Dream Coil. Use Dream of Cell. Gone! Oh, Yopaj gets the kill on Sumi. Takes out Kesku. Three heroes dead. Reek Fire Blast on the FBZ. He's going to take your head if you're not too careful. Trying to get away, pops the Scorched Earth. Ooh, this is not looking good. Burrow Strike, right clicks, all in. There's the kill, 34k lead. And Enchantress, okay, Divine Rapier. Enchantress is just gonna deal so much damage at this point. Like, these Hexes, Doom once again decides to go on a Sanking, uh, does not even get the kill. Like, Eon this proc, he tries to chase him down. I love the build of Yopaj in this game. Status resistance against the Sanking Kaya and Sanj. Uh, you know, having that Timeless Relic is uh, so good on Buck. And now with the Refresher as well, like, Double Coil, is like what are you gonna do like you're gonna be there stuck for forever someone's gonna kill you eventually you get jam while just taking these these <laughs> buildings Great fire blast comes through onto the beast master they've got the arrow to follow it up fpc goes in he's got the stone with the bkbb pop the morphing as well as the beast master are gonna buy back they use the primal roar do they have the damage to get the kill on an Atsumi? he's getting quite low so is the morphing with the dream coil down but he pops that satanic they've got the epicenter right on top of him with the bkbb pop echo slam down yo punch is gone they've got the kill onto the puck but he's still alive thanks to the act that's on this raid king raid king trying to hit away on a Makoto with the bkbb pop he's starting to back away yo punch dead hide gone so is fbz but they're gonna buy back on the earth shaker they've got the pro strike as well as the spirit vessel on a dream so can they get the kill on the morphing he's gonna wait for him away and will serve Five for now. They bought back on Yopaj, so if they can get the kill on the puck, maybe that backs him up a little bit. Hyde takes out Scam. He doesn't have buyback. He's dead for two minutes. They'll use the Moonlight Shadow to try and run away. And this should now, be enough to get him out. the reset. Let, let's see what the call is for OB Neon. Like, if they want to try to close it out, they still have top barracks, but without a sanking, I guess they can just wait. You know, he's going to have buyback uh, in a second, but not enough gold. Roche respawn another blessing another oh refresher like potentially three dream coils like how do you how do you fight that because they don't even have like a better refresher carrier than him we need to go for this they can't let this go uh, it's going down so quickly this bloodthorn <laughs> Dream Cell on the high ground. They've got the Fissure coming out from Hyde. That hits on the two. They've also got the Totem Waveform back from Dream of Cell. Wraith Fire Blast is going to be avoided by Kezku. He's trying to run First the coil. They've got themselves a Dream Coil that's down on the Dream of Cell. With the Adaptive Strike hitting as well as the Primal Roar. They have the Control coming out on the Wraith King. The Freezing Field coming through as well as the Fissure. Now the Totem. It's on a three. But Second Dream Cell taking a lot of damage. The Dream Coil is down. They've got themselves some Silence. They'll get the kill out of the Morphling. And this should seal it up for Neon. As they have taken out three of those to just break on through to the other side yeah, here. Yeah, without Morphling, they just... Another, another one. Dream Coil. <laughs> snaps, hide. Well, Snap, Crackle, and Pop go him and Makoto. They're all dead. Team White there for Neon, and they'll take the Series 2 up. Neon, they, they look really good in the first season. They look really good in the Major, even with a standing, changing the roles. It seems like this team just keeps on improving. Like, this yeah. team just keeps on getting better. I think they learned a lot also, you know, playing in the Major. A bit of a different draft, you know, a draft like this where you have these squishy heroes, but they, they make it work. Um, yeah. A couple of Eon discs.